Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the channel. Or if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is S. Jane. I'm an adult doll and toy collector who just wants to talk about dolls and toys. And this channel is made for adult doll and toy collectors. And continuing with our Unicorn Academy toy review, I have two of the dolls. Again, not in packaging because I bought them while I was on vacation and to get them home easier, had to take them out of the boxes. So there is that. I have not even really looked at these. I just took them out of the box, put them in my suitcase. So this is going to really be my first time actually looking at them while I do the review for you guys. One thing I am excited about though is I have heard where they actually have different body types for these dolls. So I think that is super interesting, but let's get into the review. Before we get into the review, let's do a quick little breakdown of what Unicorn Academy is, because if you don't know what Unicorn Academy is, these dolls will not make very much sense to you. So Unicorn Academy originally started as a book series under the same name, Unicorn Academy. And it is geared towards middle school aged kids. It's a cute series. I haven't read it. I have seen some of the titles. Looks pretty cute. So then Netflix kind of made a series, a little cartoon series based on the books. It's a little bit different from what I have heard. It's a little bit different from the books, but still a really good show. Very Magical Girl-esque. They go to this island where they are bonded with a unicorn and then they go on adventures and everything with said unicorn and their friends to save the world all magical girl fun fantasy stuff really good show uh you should go watch it it's on netflix and i believe the season two is dropping soon but let's get into the dolls both of these dolls were 16.99 at target i have seen them on amazon as well but i've only seen them on amazon or target but the first one we're going to take a look at is sophia so these dolls do not come with stands i am just using extra rainbow high doll stands that i have she comes with a little brush that looks like a brush that you would use to comb a horse's mane and tail which I think is a really cute little detail again this little piece does unbuckle like so I don't really know why it does that but it does that if my camera I don't know would focus on what's in my hand and not on the doll behind me but cute little brush it's gold it it matches so yeah but let's go ahead and get Sophia off here so here is Sophia's face. I think, I believe these dolls are by Spin Master. Spin Master is doing an amazing job. Amazing job. There's just a little bit of a shimmer to her skin tone, which I love. And she has these adorable little freckles on her face. Face is painted really well. Screen printed, painted, I don't know. The hair, I don't know. It's not Polly. This is not Polly hair. It, I don't know if it's nylon. I don't know if it's saran, but it is super soft and beautiful. Like, I love all the colors in her hair. We do have some neck articulation. She comes wearing her special little necklace. She does have her gold jacket on, and I believe it is not... it. It's all one piece. Which, you know what, that's fine. For $16.99, what are you going to expect? But the jacket and the shirt are all one piece. So it is removable in the back with Velcro. We have her little pink belt. Now it is threaded on. Like there are threads right here that are holding it in. We have some cute little heart, buck or heart star buckle detail. We do have gloves. Are these removable? Are they... They are removable gloves. They are not painted on. They are removable. I really like how they did these gloves. Like, I like that. They're not hard plastic. They're like this rubbery type of material. However they did the gloves, I think uh, Mattel should take some notes because these are really, really cool how they did them. And then moving on down to her pants. Yes, there is like screen printing on there, but... That doesn't bother me too much. And it is made out of like that spandexy type of material. And then we have the cushion insole right here. Um, I don't I don't remember what it's called, but it's basically if you ride a lot, your uh leggings have this like special like little padding right here. And they are held are they held in the back by Velcro? They are. They are held in the back by Velcro. And then we finish off with her boots. Her gold boots and I love that the laces are painted so love that anything on the bottom no I've gotten so used to Mattel always putting something on the bottom of their shoes but so that is Sophia she is absolutely beautiful 
I can't get over how well her face is painted and just the slight shimmer to her skin I think is very beautiful. All right, next up we are going to take a look at Ava. I always want to call her Layla. I don't know why. Like Ava and Layla, even though Layla is my favorite character, for some reason I just, my mind just switches the names around, but this is Ava. And she also comes with a little purple brush. Again, you can unclip it. And there is an image, like the logo for Unicorn Academy is on there. And let's go ahead and get off the stand. Now, in the show, one thing that I did notice about this doll is in the show, her hair is in pigtails, but in doll form, they just have the two pieces right here kind of pinned back to kind of look like pigtails, and the rest is down. But it is this beautiful, like, plum color. Like, I love that. I That's okay. My hair is red right now, but um, I think this will be, once the red fades, I think I'm going to dye my hair this color. I think it's beautiful. We do have some adorable little flower barrettes in her hair. You can remove them if you want. They just kind of like pop open. Those are super cute. Again, we have shimmer on the skin, which I think is beautiful. I think just that little added detail is so beautiful. And again, face is painted or screen printed, whatever they did. It is done beautifully. Then we have this adorable little ruffle style shirt on underneath her dress. Now, is it all one piece or is it separate? It is all one piece. So you can see the Velcro just all goes together. So it, it is all one piece, but they did it to where it looks like it's multiple pieces, which, you know, I think is like a cool little thing that they did instead of, you know, putting layers on them. But I'm also so very used to LOL, OMG and stuff like that having layers, but for $16.99. I'm not gonna complain. And these are Playlane dolls and they are not geared toward doll collectors, but you know, we're still gonna complain about something, I guess. Her belt right here has a beautiful little gold butterfly on it and it is removable. And her little skirt has the little edges right here, flips open. And then we have her leggings on underneath or her pants, whatever you wanna call them. They are a separate piece and they are held in the back by Velcro. And we do have screen pin printing right here on her pants to show like the little flowers and leaves and it fades, it's like an ombre. It goes from pink into yellow. And again, she has like the screen printing of the little cushion sides of her leggings. And then we finish off with her little ankle boots. And we can see we have some gold flowers painted on them. So they gave us some painted detail, which I really love. I'm not sure why her boots have holes on the bottom. I don't know if that's going to play into something. I don't know. But, and again, she also has on these adorable little removable gloves. Honestly, I am like obsessed with these gloves. Obsessed with them. And I look at, I took a look at my um, Monster Fest Frankie. And their gloves kind of feel like that rubbery material. But these are less bulky feeling. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like the gloves that they did on these Unicorn Academy dolls don't feel as bulky as the ones that are on the Monster High dolls. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Probably not. Okay, I have undressed the dolls just so you guys can see the articulation just a little bit better because these dolls are articulated and they do have different body types, which I absolutely love to see with doll lines. So Ava over here is a little bit more curvy and then we have... Sophia over here, who is just a little bit more of an athletic type build. Love to see that. Love to see it. The Barbie fashionistas have it, even though they really don't have much articulation. Monster High is doing it. The LUV or Love Fashion dolls that came out are doing it. I love that more doll companies, toy companies, whatever, are including different body types in with their dolls. I love to see it. So... As far as articulation goes with these, they do have the neck articulation. They do have shoulder. They have elbow, hip. That's about as far out as it goes. Knee. And that's about as far back as it goes. So, you know, these dolls have some pretty decent articulation for, you know, $16.99, $17 after tax dolls. 
Spin Master, I think is, like I said, I think these are by Spin Master. I pretty, I'm pretty sure they're by Spin Master. They're doing an amazing job with these Unicorn Academy dolls. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of the brand new Unicorn Academy doll, Sophia and Ava. Which one is your favorite? Now, Isabel, the blue, the blue one with the blonde hair, she is in this line as well. However, Layla, Valentina, and the boy, I don't remember the boy's name, they're not released yet. I haven't seen any leaks of their dolls, nothing. So I really hope that there is a second wave of these and those characters get released because I need them all. I, I need I need the rest of the dolls. I need the unicorns. I gotta have I gotta have them all. I gotta have the whole collection. I'm really interested to see where this line goes, if we get any play sets, all that kind of stuff. Oops, sorry. All that kind of fun stuff. But let me know what you guys think of these two. Do you like the articulation? Do you like that we have different body types? All that kind of stuff. Like I said, these were each $16.99 at Target. They are also available on Amazon. Have yet to see them at Walmart. But let me know what you guys think. All that fun stuff. And I hope to see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.